hope you're all well. Happy New Year 2021. This is my first time picking up the camera this year, 2021. I've already said that, but now we all know what year it is. And today I'm just doing a vlog. It's the 28th of January. It's quarter to 11. Today I've decided that I'm gonna pick up the camera and vlog this year. I know I say it every year. <laughs> this year, I wanna make it the year of my youtube channel and being consistent with things um so you know if you have any video ideas do let me know so a few things to update you on i'm 18 <laughs> i'm officially an adult it was my birthday on the 10th of january i didn't film it or anything and i'm not going to be doing a birthday haul um but yeah i'm 18 now um my balloons are still there i know and i've got a job now i did kind of do that in my updating video that I did at the end of 2020 um but I started that and I'm loving it um and obviously because of lockdown I'm now doing college online so I'm doing level three acting I'm in my final year obviously it's quite a big year because this is the year where I could hopefully get my extended diploma I've already got my diploma yeah we're doing everything online which is a challenge especially being with acting but we're making it work I have classes three times a week whereas if I was normally in college I would only be in two days a week so doing more than what we would normally do which is good that's all I really have to say you've probably noticed that I have changed my aesthetic I know it, like that's it's quite, quite, quite cringy saying that but obviously my old room like if you look back at my old videos it was all rose gold or gold and I just wanted an upgrade and anything and obviously being 18 is an adult now so I am like thinking about the future as well in in my life like the things that I do now how is that gonna affect me in the future if that makes sense um I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do like a little time lapse or anything in the class because I'm not sure if we're gonna be put into breakout rooms because we're working on duologue so we're in partners working for that which I need to print that out as well I'm so organized but I just want to say thanks for all the love over on Instagram I've been posting like a few things on my stories and stuff and obviously on my feed um I'm almost I'm two followers away from 600 which is that for me that's like a lot so i just want to say thanks for all the love over there and on tiktok as well but yeah as i say today i've got a class so my class finishes at one so i'll probably catch up with you guys once i finish i want to bake a cake i'll do a little ott future kira here just want to correct my dumb self it's ottd not OTT. In a second actually, just in case you want to know where any of my outfits from. So like this is kind of like the aesthetic I'm on about like the fadey tones and the neutral tones and everything. So this white shirt is literally just a white shirt with like these little gold buttons from Topshop. I want to say Topshop. Oh there's a call going on in class but obviously this jumper is from Pretty Little Thing. It's kind of self-explanatory. Then I'm wearing these leather um well faux leather trousers these are from next anyway i'm gonna go in my class now because the time is currently 10 53 wow but i'll see you guys later it's now 1 52 it's very precise i know finished my class about 52 minutes ago that's a lie we didn't finish at one on the door and i had my lunch but i have pizza a pizza got a bread salad but yeah while i'm just chilling i was like actually I'm gonna show my vlog the things that I've changed in my room. I've never done a proper room tour, but I think in the odd bits and pieces I might have like showed certain bits of my room. Obviously I do still have my balloons in my room, here's one. So yeah, like this is like an overview of my room and as you can see there's us pops of colour everywhere. So at the moment my bedding is this white one with sloths doing like loads of yoga poses which is super cute i do have like different ones that i rotate between but this is what i've got on the moment the same with the pillowcases this white fluffy um pillow is new and that one's new too and i also have um fleece bedding which is lush these are my photos the prints are from decenio all of them those two on the left there were in like my old style room and then these three here are all of the newer ones this one says 
I'm not lazy, I'm not energy saving mode. This one says it will always seem impossible until it's done. And then this one's just Los Angeles because I love Los Angeles. And I've been obsessed with these Woodwick candles. Um, they have like the crackling. Hang on, there's balloons in my way. Oh my god. They have this like special wick which makes them crackle. As you can see, like I've already been burning. It's like makes a crackling noise. I've got another one here which I haven't used yet. This one's a smaller one in wood smoke. And one thing that's really nice about them is that they like have wooden tops as well, so it's really nice and minimalistic and just kind of go with the vibe. Um, I mainly got this one because of its colour, but actually it smells so good. Um, and yeah, that's what the wick looks like, like fresh. Also, ignore my hairbrush, wax melts. So I bought this, um, I don't really know what they're called, like a wax melt um, holder. I don't know what they're meant to be called. But I got this one from actual Yankee Candle store. Um, it was in like 5 99 just for this. It, yeah, you just put a tea light candle in there and then obviously heat rises and melts all the wax. Just want to say as well, I've tried to do it in the most money saving way in that I did not buy new frames for these photo frames. They're painted. And it's very obvious that they're painted because I haven't done it very well. So I've painted them and same as my frames on my shelves there which I actually didn't show but oh well. This white fluffy fro was actually from downstairs. <laughs> anyway I wanted to get some more wax melts because I was loving them a lot but I didn't want to buy any from Yankee Candle because $1.99 is a, is a lot and you're only meant to use them once. Anyway I went on to Amazon and typed in wax melts and they had like these massive sets so as you can see mine's come in a box. There's loads in here. Well, I'll, I'll go through them all. So I've got cherry blossom here. I haven't used any of these, but each cube, each cube, like individual cubes last seven hours. So whatever 10 times, seven times six is, there's six, four, two. So you get, you get 42 hours out of just like one pack of these, which is amazing, you know, that's almost two days straight. This one is, um, it's a type of flower and I'm not going to say it because I don't want to embarrass myself. But again, I haven't used any of these. This one is Nectarine Blossom and Honey. I've, I have used this one. That's the one that I've got in there at the moment and it's very strong. Then I have Grapefruit again. This one's really nice. This one is Earl Grey, as in the tea. And it smells very lemony, which I like that, because as I said, I like lemon scents. This one is Wild Bluebells, and I was very disappointed in this one because it was really weak. This one's Pure Cotton. No idea what it smells like because I haven't used it yet, but I can imagine it being a very cosy kind of smell. And then my last one, which is Bamboo Forest, which I have used, and it actually smells very nice. I don't... I don't really know what an actual Bamboo Forest smells like because I've never been to one, but, um... This one smells good. All of those, so what did I say? There's like 42 hours per one and there's like 10 cents in there. So 480 hours worth for any 11.99. Anyway, I'm gonna go and just go on my phone and talk to people and look on the socials. Follow my TikTok. I can't remember what my username is. Go check out my TikTok, it's xkira dot lambert x and my instagram which is official kira lambert as well i'm now in my kitchen as you can tell because it's a kitchen um and i'm gonna be making my cake so i'm uh, aware that my camera isn't straight i'm aware you cannot see anything that's going on i will adjust it when i'm actually doing things but at the moment i'm talking and gathering ingredients so i cheat when i bake i'm gonna use these which is a chocolate swirl cake mix um, so when I bought that, you also need to buy the icing. So I have the um, chocolate fudge icing. I've got the wrong one. I was meant to get just normal chocolate, not chocolate fudge. Oh well. I've got the chocolate fudge icing, and then I also got extra and bought some little milk and white chocolate sprinkles. So I also need eggs, oil, water. I've got tap there. I've got the icing. So I just need to get some eggs and oil. How many eggs do I need? I need three eggs and I need some vegetable oil, so let's get that out. Um, there's some eggs. Mm. No, 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 no. 
So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to get these round baking paper things, um, pop one in each thing. And then I'm gonna get some paper, <coughs> no. I'm going to get some butter and wipe that around the sides of the base to prevent cake from sticking when we take it out. So I literally just get some butter from the fridge and I actually rip off a bit of foil, that's what I use to apply it, I don't really know if that's the right thing to do, but um, I just use foil. So I literally rip off a bit of foil and get my butter, I take the foil and put it in the butter, hold the baking paper down with my thumb so it doesn't fall, and I'll move around. Because once you've done this as well, the baking paper sticks better as well. Can I trust my emotions? Is it you really don't want a cake sticking to your tin, so just make sure every single little bit of it is all greased. Step one, the most obvious step, um, open up the box. So inside the box we have a bag of flour and like stuff that you need and some chocolate powder. I do need two bowls. I'm gonna use this little bowl because it's cute. So what I need to do is I need to mix the eggs, oil, water and cake mix gently together. This is the cake mix. So I always put dry ingredients in first. I don't know if that's right, I don't know if that's wrong. But that's what I do and um, my cakes always turn out eatable, so edible even. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I need a measuring jug. So this is like litres. So millilitres is smaller than litres. 200 millilitres. That's a lot. How many millilitres? I think I'm being really dumb. Scales has millilitres. Let's use the scales. But now how am I going to get water from here to there? Bring it up to 200. Right, so that then should be 200 millilitres, right? Why is that so much water? 199. That'll do. Right, so here's a stupid amount of water. Now we need um, 105 millilitres of vegetable oil, which is the equivalent of seven tablespoons. So this is my tablespoon. Now I'm gonna crack my eggs. Uh -oh. Okay, so now I need to whisk this for about two to three minutes until smooth and creamy. And then once I've done that, I will be removing, I know you can't see me, but I'm still trying to bend down. I will be removing eight tablespoons and placing it in a smaller bowl, which I have here. This is really runny. So as you can see to the left of me, I've poured all of the cake mixture into the tins. I'm so glad I did them separately because I don't think otherwise they would have filled in because they've both gone over halfway. And if I didn't do that, I don't think they would have gone in properly. So now what we need to do is empty this chocolate sachet into the mixture that you set aside, which is here and stir well and gently spoon this into the mixture in the tin and using a rounded knife gently swirl through. So I have made this cake before so I do understand that. What we're doing now basically this is just plain like vanilla um, cake mix. So what we're making now is chocolate cake mix basically. So then to make the swirls you take the mixture that you make, spoon it equally onto the top of the um, vanilla cake mixture and then you take a knife and you kind of swirl it all around so then when you um cook it it kind of like sinks in and it just creates a really cool effect so now i'm going to stir this with my giant whisk in my tiny bowl can i trust my emotions is it the heat of the moment because my heart just exploded when i saw your face so what we're going to do now is dollop a bit in each thing. We do one at a time because I feel like otherwise it's going to sink, which it's already doing. Yay. As you can see, it's not amazing. I don't really understand what's happened. It just all kind of sunk down. So I've definitely done it better than this before, but anyway, I'm moving on to the next one now. Yeah, it ain't going very well. Ooh, ooh, I've been waiting for a girl like you. Alexa. Um, hey Siri, play Rita Ora. Rita Ora now playing. 
can't hear anything. So this is what they look like, as you can see, chocolate swirl. Chocolate swirl. I mean, at the end of the day, it's gonna turn into cake. Do you know what I mean? It, there's vanilla cake mixture and chocolate cake mixture. Some might just be a bit more chocolatey than the other and less spread out, I guess. It'll be fine. So now I'm gonna put that in the oven for the minimum time at first, which is 37 minutes um, and the maximum 43, but they always lie. I never preheated the oven. Oh no, what does it have to be on? 180 C for fun, this is 180, 160, what an idiot. So I'm gonna go and clean up and I'll get back to you when I'm like taking them out and decorating them. The cakes are now ready, they are like freezing cold. So what we're gonna do is put some butter icing in the middle, but I'm not gonna do it too thick. So I've angled my camera down to there so you can see. So the butter icing I have is the, so what I'm gonna do for now is just take a big tablespoon and put it in the middle, cause I'm not gonna do too thick of a layer. What about you? Number one's that you got options. Cause any guy will be free falling. Lucky to have you. Number two's that you're real girl. Messy bun, my ideal girl Number three is the deep blue sea That is looking back at me So now I can put the top layer on top So now I'm just gonna put the rest on here Oh, I should've known I should've stopped for you I've been waiting for a girl like you I think that looks cute and now I'm gonna take these triple chocolate swirls and put them on. I think earlier I just said that they were milk and um, white chocolate but there are actually chocolate, chocolate dark, dark chocolate ones in here too which is cute. Ta -da. I think that looks really cute. I feel like they're quite evenly spread as well. That'll be just fine. But I'm gonna end this vlog here because I want to get on with editing and I don't want to have any more footage to try and transfer over to be honest with you. Like it's so annoying that I can't just plug in my SD card and pop it on. It's really annoying me. Hopefully I can finish this before I go to bed. If not, I'll do it in the morning. <laughs> but thank you guys very much for watching. Um and I will try and keep up with the content more regularly this year. As I said at the start, any video ideas, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.